going to be painting in the studio today. I plan to paint the Iris Marie. She was a shrimp boat based in Mayport and sadly a couple of months ago in December 2019 she went up in flames and sank. She was sitting at the um, docks and she started in flames in the middle of the night and the flames spread to the neighboring boat the Triton 2. The Triton II, I uh, have a wonderful memories of that boat. Uh, it was based in St. Augustine, so I've painted a few pictures of the Triton through the years. Um, this was done right at the dock a couple of years ago. This is the Triton II. Uh, sad to see this old boat go and sad to see the Iris Marie go. Um, I never have painted her but I have a lot of photographic uh, references of the Iris Marie and I'd like to do a painting of her today just to celebrate the life of such an awesome old boat. So join me, take a look. I'm gonna show you how I start a painting and I'm gonna show you my progression through the painting of the awesome Iris Marie. Sketch. I start out every painting with a quick simple sketch of my subject just to get the proportions right, the composition right, where everything's placed and to figure out some of the basic values. I often start out painting on just a plain white canvas or a panel. Today I'm using a linen panel, just a, a plain white one. I think what I want to do is tone the canvas a little bit I like a little bit of a blue tone today. The, uh, the boat has a blue background, uh, kind of a blue cast over the, the whole thing. So what I'll do is I'll take some turpentine and I use Gamsol, which is an odorless mineral spirit, and just tone the canvas just a little, little bit so I've got a tiny little bit of color. I wipe, I put it on, I wipe it off, I put it on, I wipe it off until I get a simple tone. I am so enjoying this process. I love painting boats. And what I've done is I've finished the drawing part and I'll go on to the next phase which will be to put more color in than just blue because I've done the whole thing in blue uh, just to get the values right. So what, I have, what I'll do is when I start putting color on I'll maintain the lightest light in the sky and the darkest dark under the dock and under the eave of the boat and the midtones I'll keep right in here. 
I'll change colors because there's some greens in there, there's yellows and tans as you get into the beach area. And that will evolve as I go. But I'm going to start out with the darkest darks. And I'll do little by little by little. I'll, I'll put lighter and lighter values in as I go. So it's kind of like an architecture. You have to start first with a basic structure. And I've got the shapes right, the big shapes. I don't really care right now about the little picky detail. I'll worry about that later on in the painting when I'm almost done. Detail is like the last 5% of the color painting. of the day, it was a blue day. It was uh, lots of water, lots of sky, lots of blue. Uh, so now I'm going to be starting to work on getting more color in, uh, trying to stay with the same values that I've started out with, meaning keeping the darkest dark dark and the mid-tones in here mid-tone, but changing the colors. I noticed in here, it was a really neat color in here, so this under here is pretty blue, but underneath of that blue, uh, it becomes more of a sand color, picking up the sand from the bottom. And uh, the sky's not, not quite going to be this white, but it's going to be the lightest light, because the sky usually is the lightest light. made a quick trip to Mayport and this right here where this little white boat is is where the Iris Marie used to be. It's the location that I'm painting right now with the Iris Marie still in there. <laughs> 